Hey there, Niyama here. I recently started playing the bass guitar and I realized something as I was practicing earlier today. This element of practice is something that I've carried with me since I started playing uh, musical instruments back, I guess back when I was 10 years old, when I first started with the alto saxophone. Gone from the alto sax to playing the tuba, to playing the trombone with a brief stint of clarinet in the mix <laughs> in there as well. Uh, and actually it's really interesting over the last 15 years, I had been spending most of my time, uh, bringing my musicianship through singing and now I'm making the transition to, uh, to play the bass. The bass is something that's been calling to me. And as I was standing and standing in the mirror, playing, uh, playing, actually, I want to, I want to say scales, but it wasn't even that it was really, really simple basics going from E to A from one string to the next as backwards and forward, uh, slowly just seeing how I could fine tune and get more precise and build in more uh, muscle memory along the way, uh, something came to me. I'm like, I could do this and keep practicing these notes or keep practicing scales and so on and so forth. Like I can really get good at playing this on my own at some point, but there'll be a time where just because I'm able to play every single note, because I was feeling, I was feeling the struggle. I was like, E and A, why is it so hard? <laughs> but I'm like, there'll be a time where I'm able to play every single note and I'll be able to like easily move up and down the fretboard and just have access to all that the guitar offers from a, a note and playing perspective. But it wouldn't, I wouldn't have the true skill set of being able to play in a band or be invited to uh, just jump on stage and and really own being on stage or, or really performing because there's a difference in that that element and the difference here is that as I'm going through my practice this practice is happening in an isolated environment this practice is happening with me alone and I can build all the the skills or listen to all the the right things but there's a completely different level of practice that's necessary uh, to be able to bring this out in the world in a way that uh, continues to be, I don't know, show stopping, you know, <laughs> that gets people moving in there, their heads, their heads moving and their feet are tapping. Uh, and as I was uh, playing this year, and as a thought came to mind, I, I thought about you, I thought about you and uh, your journey as a trailblazer and, and our collective ability to shape the worlds around us. And it got me thinking about practice, how um, at this time, if we're choosing to go down paths that people haven't gone down before, if we're choosing to not just challenge the status quo, but to uh, evolve and expand the status quo, if we're choosing to speak truth to power, all of that there, uh, it takes practice. It takes practice. And there's things that we can do to read all, read all about it or, uh, Go and watch watch all the YouTube's the YouTube clips. You can even watch every single one of my videos, and there's a lot of them. Uh, but none of that would give you the practice of actually being in a space where you're seeing the words and feeling what it's like inside when that happens. Because there's a different experience between knowing all the notes to play and actually being able to to perform it uh, in front of others and beyond. And I think about that for you and I think about it for all of us as trailblazers here, where are you going and how are you practicing the different skill set of being out with people while moving forward in your journey? The thing that comes to mind here is that there's a relate like with a lot of what we do here with a lot of uh, the elements of showing up authentically, bringing out your authentic leadership style, showing up powerfully uh, and also just speaking and expressing what's true to you in a way that serves and has an impact for others. A lot of that is based on relationships. It's the relationship you have with yourself. It's a relationship you have with other people. It's the relationships with those in the room. And I get curious where you go to practice implementing those skills and, and actually continuing to build those skills uh, as it goes along. I have a mastermind that I'm a part of. I, I get I have coaches that I, that I talk to. I'm, I'm actually a part of several different masterminds and, and uh, coaching communities and so forth. There are places I go to continue to practice uh, being me with other people, practice being a leader with other people. And I'm going to invite you to come and join us in one of the ways that one of the spaces that I've created to help you practice.
I call it the Trailblazer Collective, and it's a courage gym. It's a gym where you can go and practice, like practice the muscles of actually showing up in the world beyond beyond what the theory element and into application. Each time we come together, we come together with the specific intent of giving you a chance to practice with something new uh, in a collective environment. That's why we that's why we call it the collective. Here. And yeah, the, the aspect here is to be able to take some of the skill sets that uh, you might develop or might have developed or might have the interest in developing uh, on your own and give you a, an environment to practice it in front of others, give you that relational experience where you can practice saying things and seeing how, seeing basically how you can navigate the edge of, um, of discomfort uh, as well as the edge of possibility. So if you're ready to come and practice and so that you can then go out into other areas of your world and know that you've already experienced the um, the sensations of feel of of palmy of palmy of sweaty palms or uh, tripping over your words, <laughs> uh, and still being able to recover and deliver what it is that you came here to do. If you're looking for places and spaces where you can be messy and practice and have that relational aspect for you, then come and join us in the Trailblazer Collective. You can go to niyama.com slash collective. That's n double i a m a h dot com slash collective. And you can fill out, uh, you can come up and actually join us in a session that is specific. It's a public session that is specifically made to give you an experience of what it's like to be a part of the collective. Uh, and from then on, you can, you can choose to see how you want to play. Every few weeks, we'll do something that gives you an opportunity to go deep to start practicing uh, and also to meet some of the other trailblazers who are playing, uh, playing on the world stage and are actually building out their own courage muscles and doing the practice, the relational practice uh, that's involved with true leadership, especially leadership that's called for at this time. All right. I'll talk to you later. Uh, maybe one day you'll actually hear me play this bass as opposed to just use it as a set piece. <laughs> but we are, <laughs> I have some more practicing to do on my own. Uh, and you'll see me be able to practice this. I, I'm already thinking to myself, I'm like, when we do uh, live in person sessions, I'd love to bring out the bass guitar. Uh, maybe just do something fun with, with the band that's out there. Um, my mind is going in different places around this, but I know that there's just, there's just different levels of practice. I want to make sure that uh, you know that there's a space for you to come and do that. Uh, come and join us. Let us know if, you, if you're interested. Go to niyama.com slash collective and come practice with us. We'll give you a chance to experience one of our collective sessions uh, that's being out in the public and we'll continue on from there. Here goes the thing. No matter what, though, you got this and we got you. Journey on. Hey, yo, Niyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.